Father, my destiny must make progress from this from this meeting, from tonight, from this encounter. Go ahead and pray. Mention the areas that must change. Come on. Someone is praying. Father, grace to have a vision for my life, to have goals for my days. Oh yes, you are praying. You are praying. I obtain grace to correct limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs. I obtain grace to invest in value. Invest in value. To be resourceful. Spiritually resourceful. Intellectually resourceful. Someone cry for wisdom. Cry for divine direction. Cry for wisdom. Cry for divine direction. Cry for divine strategies. For another, pray for favor. Favor. For a sick person who came here, downcast, ill in your body. I like you to pray that I must receive my miracle tonight. The program of God depends on my participation. My destiny depends on my vitality. No room for sickness. No room for diseases. Finally, I'd like you to pray. Every demonic blockade, every hindrance to my moving forward, to my going forward, to my making progress, to my advancement, to my prosperity, to my increase, I come against you. Go ahead and pray. I'm about to pray for you right now. The purpose of the prayer is to activate the power of God towards your direction. And I want you to believe that as God's power comes towards your direction, that everything that is not of God, it gives way now. Father, in the name of Jesus, your people have come tonight to encounter your power. I decree and I declare. Please, ushers, I'll ask you to bring them out very quickly so that we'll rush. I want to take some time to pray for the sick. In the name that is above all names, anyone here and any family here represented under the influence of spirits, under the influence of curses, under the influence of yokes as you shout the name jesus right where you are seated in the name of jesus let that light and fire that comes from the throne let it begin to dispel every demonic work are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus bring them out in the name of jesus I curse those spirits by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every molestation, every curse that followed you here, every covenant that followed you here to destroy you, to frustrate you, I say it again, it comes under arrest. One more time, shout Jesus. Spirits of delay, delaying destinies, delaying women, delaying men, I arrest you now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Release your apakatosh ketebedeketa. Release your destinies now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Let them go. Let them go. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty every family here that does not rise it looks like when you are about to rise there are forces that sit on your destiny let the fire of the Holy Ghost let it come upon you now let it come up let it come upon you now let charms and altars be destroyed now let evil speakings incantations of witchcraft against your life 
against your marriage against your family let it be destroyed now bring them out the Lord is telling me to speak to someone that the attack on your life is because you are the deliverer of your family. The attack on your life is not because of something you did wrong. It's because the devil has seen that the hand of God is coming upon you. That you are the one God is raising. I cost that spirit. Release them now. I cost that spirit. Release them now. I cost that spirit. Release them now. In the name of Jesus. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory. for those outside I'm praying for everyone but I want to pray for those outside those outside I want to pray for you there will be a mighty deliverance outside don't worry every overflow everywhere you can participate but outside those outside you are going to shout the name Jesus at the count of three and I'm seeing fire falling outside there are ordinances of darkness some of them hundred years old fifty years old it was not your great grandparents came into it they met it there those outside you are going to shout the name jesus and the lord is going to be destroying the works of satan are you ready now at the count of three shout jesus one two three shout jesus broken 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 by the power of the holy spirit every altar tying down anyone outside from the front to the back the left to the right in the name of Jesus I curse it now I curse it now bring them out in the name of Jesus be released now be released now you're my glory the lifter up of my head hallelujah the Lord is showing me a vision. Please listen. And I see this many times. I'm seeing a human being. But I'm seeing like the head is tied. Like with a veil. And the Bible says. Listen. There are many things that are in the head. The hair which is your glory. Is in the head. The eye which gives you direction. Is in the head. Your sense of perception. Is in the head. Your mouth that you speak and eat for nourishment is in the head. So when the head is covered, it's not just the head. It's a revelation of the many aspects that are wrong in your life. This is not for everybody, but I want to pray for that person. That every veil that has tied down your life and covered your glory. I tear that veil now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. The Lord is asking me to speak to a gentleman here. I may not be able to speak to many people. Our time is gone. But no one has risen in your family. But the Lord is saying I should tell you that you are going to be called into ministry. And it is that platform that God will use to deliver your family. 
it will not just happen by business ministry actual fivefold ministry there is a grace that's why god brought you here to contact the anointing that will release you into a fearful dimension of the ministry i don't know where you are but i pray for you for the sake of your family let that grace fall on you now let the fire fall let the river flow let it burn inside let it flow outside let the fire fall let the river flow let it burn inside Hallelujah.